The bill highlights offensive material, as if giving offence is a harm from which a fragile public need protection. The government plans to make Ofcom the online regulator, but Ofcom has a dangerous attitude to free speech. Since January, it has made offline broadcasters ensure programmes avoid hate speech, which it defines as all forms of expression which spread, incite, promote or justify hatred based on intolerance on the grounds of disability, ethnicity, social origin, sex, gender, gender reassignment, nationality, race, religion or belief, sexual orientation, colour, genetic features, language, political or any other opinion, membership of a national minority, property, birth or age. A so-called duty of care will include content that risks an adverse psychological impact on individuals, but this could mean almost anything. Well, I mean, obviously laws are terribly important, but one of the things here, because they're foundational, but one of the things here is that these are deadly serious problems. When we're talking about mental health and well-being of young people and people all across the population, we need to take these things as seriously as we take things like petrol or lead in paint, and there needs to be serious scientific study. We can't just make up words like harm and pretend like that gives us a golden key to kind of change the rules of, of how the internet works. And, and that means investing in science, and that means, you know, getting data from companies to learn about how these products and, and how these platforms actually influence us uh, for good or bad. I want this country to realize that we stand on the edge of oblivion. I want every man, woman, and child to understand how close we are to chaos. I want everyone to remember why they need us. Well, that didn't take long. Big tech is finally starting to realize, we hope, that uh, basically a lot of these new safety bills is going to hurt their businesses and basically will be pure censorship of people around the world. And that's not, especially here in the United States, we just... Uh, finished celebrating the 4th of July. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, we had a good holiday week. Long week. It was a long weekend, actually. And you have those on there that say, Oh, we have to protect the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? We have to protect the people. You Police believe this shit? Uh, we got to protect people from misinformation. Uh, we got uh, hate. You know, there was someone, pro you know, there's someone prosecuted on hate rules recently. I forgot what country it is that, you know, that they, they got arrested for saying something online that wasn't even hate. And then I think, what is it? Michigan passed a hate speech law that uh, it's supposed to go to the final Senate to, for final vote. You know, this is the ridiculous things that people push out. And they just, this is all control. And now we're hearing from Apple. Apple's, you know, right now, of, of, of any of the companies on here right now, they are right now worried about what is going on in the United Kingdom. But before we start with this, I just wanted to take this moment to thank all of you for clicking on this video. If you haven't yet, hit that like, Share this video with friends, family, enemies, and hopefully today I've earned your subscription. And for those of you already subscribed, please make sure you are still subscribed as YouTube tends to remove uh, subscriptions from time to time. And remember, if you wish to help support this channel, there are several links in the description below, including a merch shop with new anime themed shirts and mugs now available and to celebrate america's birthday this july 4th we are offering an additional 10 percent off your purchase use the promo code july 4th which we've extended the expiration date till july 10th once again thank you for your support and make sure you hit that notification bell to make sure you receive all our notifications on Cuticast TV and all of our programming across all of our social media platforms. Thank you once again. Well, over at XBiz, uh, Gustav Turner 
uh, puts out another good article. Apple warns United Kingdom government of serious privacy risks if online safety bill passes. Apple has issued a statement warning against serious privacy risks that would result from the passage of the online safety bill. Currently being fast-tracked by the conservative government of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, after years of delays, the Sunak government has made the controversial bill a priority, seeking to show a victory to the social conservatives and rel religious crusaders and swerve activists currently conducting a moral panic campaign around supposedly harmful content. You know, I thought this guy w was afraid to push this forward. I guess he lied. Uh, which many of them include porn through the UK media. The latest version of the bill, The Guardian pointed out in November, has gone through four prime ministers and seven secretaries of state since it was first proposed as an online harms white paper under Theresa May. On last Tuesday, Apple sent an unequivocal statement to the BBC News about the privacy issues that the bill marketed as save the women and children. See, now they're adding the women on there. Now they're caring about the women. Hadn't we better get the women and children into the boat, sir? Yes. Sir? Women and children first. They didn't care about the women before. Save the women and children measured by activists that disregarded or minimized privacy and technical issues would present. End-to-end -end encryption is a critical capability that protects the privacy of journalists, human rights activists, and diplomats, an Apple rep told the BBC News. It also helps everyday citizens def defend themselves from surveillance, identity theft, fraud, and data breaches. The online safety bill poses a serious threat to this protection and could put UK citizens at a greater risk. According to the Gizmo report about Apple's statement, if the bill is put into place, the government said it would use technology to gain access to encrypted messages to search for child abuse content, but tech experts claim that the messages would need to be scanned before they're sent by performing facial recognition without the user's knowledge using client size scanning. The technology was already developed by Apple, who announced plans in 2021 to scan photos on iPhones for abusive content. The company withdrew its plans after receiving a backlash from privacy advocates. Gizmo quoted a statement from the British security and private expert Dr. Yves Alexandre de Montage, noting that the bill could result in the installation of software to check you don't share images known to contain child sexual abuse material. See, here's the thing. This will scan to see if you have any of that. But what it really will do is to see what you're doing, to see what sites you're on, what you're reading, you know, what, you know, do you, are you disagreeing with the government? That's what is happening here. This is a control. You know, this is turning into, you know, like the, the movie V, the way everything uh, was running in England at, in that movie. But what our paper shows is that the software could be built or tweaked to include other hidden features, such as scanning private content from the phones of hundreds of millions of people using facial re recognition and the same technology used at airport gates. What's up and Signal already indicated they may withdraw from the UK market if the bill is passed. Yes, this is what we need to do. Pull away out of these marketplaces that are pushing these laws that are violating constitutions. Sunak has been pressured for months by members of the ruling Conservative Party to strengthen the online safety bill by increasing liabilities for platforms hosting adult content. Again, I'm going to I'm going to say, what do you mean by adult content? Bloomberg reported in January that anti-porn Tory MP threatened a rebellion that promoted Sunak to cave in to demands for big tech directors to face jail if they fail to remove harmful content. Let me tell you something. If it goes against the rules and regulations of the site, 
and they pull it off, why are you threatening them with this? If they're allowed to post it, they're allowed to post it. You, you want to threaten them financially on it? People are going to, you know, companies are going to leave. You're going to end up with nothing. As experts reported, the online safety bill has been stuck in conceptual chaos since its very beginnings with various and unclear goals such as protecting children, outlawing hate speech, cleaning up the internet, and other fuzzy notions popularized through various me media panics concerning online content. The online safety bill has been universally criticized by free speech and digital right advocates for its arbitrary and expansive definition of what constitutes harmful content. Exactly. Plain and simple what this says. More moderate members of the Conservative Party have also criticized the bill for its potential to erode freedom of expression and privacy. We know that this was going to happen. We know that, you know, the United Kingdom has been falling deep into the rabbit hole when it comes to online safety. This is not the way to go. See, they're, lo they're looking for... They're looking for pedos and all these other criminals, you know, and disguising that and saying, well, we're looking for them and disguising to censor the Internet, to censor your speech. The warning of the bad guy is the red herring, because I'll tell you this, most people that are in this criminal nature are either going through the dark web or going hand to hand when it comes to information. If you ever saw The Matrix... That scene in the Matrix where the guy comes to see Neo at the door looking for a particular disc, uh, particular information. How did he send it to him? He didn't send it to him. He gave him a disc. You don't think that most of these guys have wisened up and not, you know, gone on the Internet to get things. They're passing things by hand. They're handing it on either DV on discs, on thumb, most likely on thumb drives. We've already saw, and I had that report where a Chinese national was arrested crossing the border with child porn in his possession. He wasn't carrying a laptop. It was already in the memory of his phone. And I think there was a thumb drive also. This is what's happening. People need to wake up. People need to start screaming. And you know, I hear it every day from a lot of people, especially on BitChute. They say, well, porn is evil and it should be it should be erased on there. But that's not what we're talking about. They're talking about that. They're angering you. You're sitting there and saying like, oh, I'm angry, I don't want the porn. I just porn. But see, that's what they're getting you angry for. Meanwhile, they're lifting everything out of your pocket. Your freedom, your freedom of expression, your speech. Everything that is important to you in your life, they're trying to gain control. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts about this because this is very important. And remember, share this video with those, your friends, your family, your enemies. Don't matter. Share it with them. They, they should be hearing this. You know, we are finally getting the word out on a lot of this. The YouTube content creators, it, more and more people are coming to them for the news of the day. Why? Because this is straight out what is actually going on, what we're bringing to you. It doesn't, it's not that hard to find this information. It is buried, but you can still find it easily if you know what you're looking for. So don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, and hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Check out our other videos this week. Uh, we have one more today and two more tomorrow. So until then, thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.